the strangest feeling Believe that chick's no cinch I really get her going I get out my big ten inch The record of a band that plays the blues A band that plays the blues She just loves my big ten inch The record of my favorite blues by one of my viewers to review this video. I didn't even know it existed, so I'm very excited about it. I have heard of Bettina and Gogo Amy's uh, pinup classes that they offer. And this is it. It's how to be a pinup model. Release your inner bombshell with Gogo but Amy and Bettina May. Uh, it deals with hair, makeup, clothing, and poses. Um, I get asked a lot about pinup modeling um, and how to get started into pinup modeling, especially since I started posting my pinup peak. A feature that I do each month. I am not a pinup model. I've never really had any desire to be. I do respect and admire their work and I have my favorites as you know. Um, but both of these girls are extremely talented. They both know what they're talking about. They have really really good handle on their subject matter and I just want you to know what I think of the video. I've made some notes like I said and I'm sorry about my kids in the background. Y'all know that's a, that comes with the territory in these talking videos. Okay, I'm going to do a written version of this, of this um, review on my blog. And I'm actually going to do a written version so that you know you have that to refer to more readily if you um, are seriously considering purchasing the video. And I'll also have a link to where you can purchase the video below and also in, the, um, in my blog. Basically, for those of us who enjoy YouTube tutorials, any type of tutorial that deals at length with vintage styling and vintage makeup, you guys probably like me, you're going to get all into it and be excited about it. I personally am. I love the how-to videos. I always loved how-to videos my whole life. And so this whole style and beauty thing on YouTube was just right up my alley. I have my favorites, as you know. And I have, I can honestly say that I think that if you enjoy YouTube tutorials and if you enjoy um, vintage like stylists on YouTube watching not only me, but also classic retro glamour, uh, the wonderful pinup makeup tutorials of people like Let's Make Up and Goldie Starling and people who really understand their subject matter but that also do other things too, modern makeup and things like that. Um, there are very few um, negatives to the video. I, do, I did notice a few. I mean, most of them having to do with production. I think they, you know, the music gets a little redundant in pl places. I think there's uh, especially one segment, I think it's the hairstyling segment where the music is just like, it's looped, I believe. So it's pretty constant and sometimes it interferes with what she's trying to say. And a few awkward camera angles at the beginning and the, during the introduction, you almost get the impression that the, the film, the person who was filming was trying to get a feel for what he wanted to do um, or she wanted to do. There's a few awkward camera angles in there. But I mean, these, these are no, none of these things will affect your wanting to purchase the video if this is a style um, or a subject matter that you're interested in. Um, in, far, in the makeup segment, I felt like the makeup tips, especially for photography, are perfect for aspiring pinup models. Those of you who have asked me about it, I've told you what I've heard from other pinup models, but I, I personally don't have anything of my own experience to go by, so this was really interesting for me. Um, she mentions brighter cheeks to show more definition in photographs um, and really bring about that pinup kind of charm. Um, she has a very unique way of applying winged eyeliner, a way that I haven't really seen any other YouTube gurus do. Uh, those of us who really, really love our winged liner actually can learn a lot from this. It's a kind of a, she applies the liner in, in little steps, just little steps um, along the way. And the steps are done in, in an order that I haven't seen done before. That's really interesting. Um, I, I do wish there had been eyeshadow in the application tutorial, but I understand why there wasn't because the focus in pinup makeup is not on eyeshadow. So that was fine. Um, one of the things I thought was interesting in the makeup application uh, segment is that sometimes because of the super close up of the camera and the good high definition camera that they used, the makeup looks kind of messy in spots. The makeup looks a little messy in spots. Y'all have said this about my application of makeup too, that sometimes in the middle it's kind of like a big old mess and then it all comes together at the end. I don't, I'm not by any means saying that Amy's application techniques are messy. I'm simply saying that when you use a high definition camera and you're applying red lipstick or winged liner, which are things that require lots and lots of um, meticulous application, that the um, 
sometimes it can look a little messy midway through, but it always comes together at the end. And I think this should be encouraging for all of you because a lot of times you may be in the middle of applying something and you cannot figure out how it's going to turn out right. But with perseverance and with, with patience, it it can be corrected to where it looks flawless by the end. So I think that's something else that I think was a, a really kind of a cool plus side on this. I don't know if they intended it that way, but I liked it. Um, she, because she makes the fi fixing kind of effortless. Um, let's see. The hairstyling segment, I will say, I think it goes on a little long. I understand why Bettina did what she did. Uh, her hair, by the way, looks fabulous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love the, she obviously used a sponge roller set. She uses sponge rollers on Amy's hair as well. She uses um, a setting lotion or setting spray instead of water, which I think is also interesting because I think it probably wouldn't take quite as long to dry. And Go Go Amy has really long, thick hair. So it's very cool watching her set her hair. Um, and like I said, she uses a wet to dry set. She uses um, sponge rollers, but she doesn't use water to mist the sections. She uses um, a setting spray. Uh, it's really cute to watch Amy pose while she's having her hair set. And you can see it's something that she's very natural at and something she's having fun with. She's like mugging all over the place. Um, but I do think the hair setting scene is a little long. Um, but Bettina shares a lot of interesting facts about the period while she works. And I think if there had just been a few cuts and editing, um, it would have made the hair portion a little more upbeat. And as it is, it's interesting and it's, 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 it's um, important to, I think, see a setting being done. But we may not have needed to see it in real time. I think there might have been a few segments where they could have cut or sped up. Um, she uses wire rollers on the top of Amy's hair. Y'all know that I have never used wire or brush rollers. But this actually has inspired me to do it because it's it hold her her reason for it holds a lot of water. There will not be any denting in that top those top portions, and I, it has inspired me to try them. I, it's one type of roller I've never tried. Um, she has a couple of great tips and solutions for hair that may not have dried completely before you took it out of the set. Look for that. Um, she, there's a brilliant close-up of doing victory rolls in this that I have never seen on any of the YouTube tutorials, including my own, because it's really hard to get a, get a good camera angle doing a victory roll on yourself. So she does a victory roll on Gogo -Go Amy's hair that is actually really, really well captured. She captures it perfectly, shows how to do it perfectly, and shows how to pin it perfectly. That's another thing that I think makes the video extra special, uh, especially if you've got long hair, because like I said, Amy has long, thick hair. Um, to me, the best part of the video, however, and I'm going to wrap this up, is the posing tips. Anybody who ever intends to do pinup modeling or to go and have a pinup photo shoot done um, for their husband or significant other, anything like that, like the photos at the beginning and end of this video that were are by Celeste Juliana, who I think is fabulous at what she does, anybody who wants to get that done needs to watch this and figure and, and, and uh, take, get a good handle on these posing tips. These posing tips are invaluable, not only for pinup photography, but I feel like for just photography in general, because she teaches you how to get that hourglass shape with all types of photography and with all types of um, settings. Um, a couple of little things she mentions is making vowel sounds at the camera and how that your face does. Do that, look, at, look in the mirror and do A, E, A, O. Oh. You, you know, you get all those cute little little pinup faces by doing that. So that's a really excellent tip. And there's just so many great tips for posing. So anyway, I strongly recommend the video. I think it's great. I obviously think there are just a couple of little, um, of little things that I think uh, would have made it just a little bit more snappy. But other than that, it's extremely, extremely uh, useful. So I recommend it. And there will be a link to where you can purchase it below. So we'll talk to you later. My big ten inch, the record of a band that plays the blues. A band that plays the blues. She just loves my big ten inch.